welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this clutch and it's super easy to do the pattern is very simple and suitable for beginners I've just used a half double crochet for this project and at the end to join the side I've used single crochet this is 100% cotton yarn and um, if you want to compare the size here you go so it fits into the clutch perfectly so let's get started for this project start with any odd number of chains so slip knot and chain I've done 31 so you can do any odd numbers and then for the first round what I'm gonna do is chain 2 1 and 2 so these two are the extra chains which is counted as the first half double crochet I'm gonna skip the next stitch as well so I'm gonna skip these three stitches and I'm going into the fourth one and doing a half double crochet into the fourth one So the third chain is counted as the chain. The first two chains are the half double crochet. So I need to continue doing half double crochet into each of the chains until I'm in the last one. So I'm in my last chain here where I'm gonna do seven half double crochet so I'm gonna do seven one two three Four, five, six, and seven. So I did seven, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a stitch marker onto the first one and onto the seventh one because this is the flap and there's going to be increases in these seven stitches all the way this this part is going to be only half double crochet in each of the rounds so now I'm gonna continue half double crochet backwards so I'm going into this stitch and then continue in each So I'm continuing my last three half double crochet so one two and the last one these are the chain three that we skipped in the first round here so this first one here I'm gonna do a half double crochet into this one and this is going to be my last half double crochet and now for the second round I'm going to do chain 2 and this chain 2 is going to be counted as a first half double crochet so I'm going to turn my work 
and I need to skip this first stitch as well because for this stitch the chain 2 is the half double crochet so I'm going into the second one and do half double crochet into the second one and then continue in each of the stitches So I'm going to continue half double crochet until I'm here in the stitch marker. So I'll be back when I'm here. So just continue half double crochet into each. So I finished all the half double crochet. I'm here in the stitch marker. What I'm going to do is take this stitch marker off and do two half double crochet in each of the stitches next seven. So until I'm here into the last one so I'm gonna make two into the next one and two and I'm gonna put the stitch marker back into the first one <clears throat> and continue doing two into each until the next stitch marker so I'm gonna have 14 half double crochet And here I'm in my last one so I'm taking the marker off and doing two into this last one one and two and what you're gonna do is put your marker back onto this last one so you can see the increase now I've got 14 half double crochet and then continue doing the half double crochet in each until you are in the last one so I'm here in my last two stitches and the last one would be on the chain two And now I'm going to move on to the round three. Same thing, chain two. Skip the first stitch, going into the next one, half double crochet, and then half double crochet each of the stitches until you are again into the stitch marker. So I'm here again taking off the stitch marker and this time I'm going to make a half double crochet into the next and putting back the stitch marker onto this and then going into the next one I'm going to make two half double crochet into the next. one and two and then again into the next one one and then into the next one two so the pattern is one two one two so I did one and in, in the beginning and then two one and then in the next one I'm gonna do two and continue until the next one, 
two and then one and in the next one two one and two And I'm going to continue like this. And I'm here into the last one where I'm going to do two. One and two. And put my stitch marker back. And then continue I finished the third round and from now on I'm just gonna show you how to crochet this flap I'm gonna show you the pattern for this side only whereas this one is the same thing just doing half double crochet each of the stitches and don't forget to count each time if you are doing right I mean if you are doing the exact amount of the stitches so I've started with 31 stitch if you remember once one chain was for this flap and the 30 is the side so if you do more or less you just have to remember one chain is going to be always for the flap and the rest of it is the side so I have 30 stitches in each of the side and here I've got the flap so now I'm going to continue the fourth round and I'm going to show you when I'm here so I'm in the round number four and I'm going to start taking off the marker and I'm going to do half double crochet into the next and I'm going to put the stitch marker back then one into the next and then one into the next so I did three half double crochet into the three stitches now into the next one I'm gonna do two one and two so I did two in the same and then I'm going to move into the next three. I'm going to do one in each. One. And then the next one. One. And into the next one. One. After these three, I'm going to do again two in the same. And continue this pattern. So I'm now going to do three into the next three so one in each one and then the next one and then the next one so I've got three and then let me do this one again so three and then into the next one again two one and two and continue like this until you're here so into the last five so I've got here five stitches to the stitch marker into this five one I'm just gonna do one in each one two three four and taking the stitch marker off and doing my fifth one and putting the stitch marker back so now I've got this and I'm going to continue now doing half double crochet into each round number five taking the stitch marker off and into the next 
four stitches I'm gonna do one in each one I'm gonna put the stitch marker back and then next three four and you can see four done now into the fifth one I'm gonna do two into the same one and two now I'm gonna continue four next four one in each and then two again so this is the pattern one two three four and then two in each sorry in the same one and two so I did again four and then two and I'm gonna co continue like this next four two three four And then again two in the same so you can see and then I'm gonna do again four and then two and to finish off the rest of the stitches I'm gonna do one in each so let's see One, two, three, four, and then two into the same. And I'm left with five stitches. And this five, I'm gonna do one single, one half double crochet into each. One, two, three, four, and the last one, five. And after this you're gonna continue the half double crochet all the way round number six and I'm gonna take the stitch marker off and do one half double crochet into the next five stitches so I'm going into the next So I did one I'm gonna continue for another four two three four and five after this five I'm gonna do two together sorry two in the same so into the next one I'm gonna do two half double crochet one and two and then continue for the next five one in each and then two so I'm gonna do next five one two three four and five and then two in the same one and two so if you continue this round like this five and then two you're gonna end up with five uh, half double crochet in the last five stitches and then continue the round round number seven 
and I'm gonna do one half double crochet into the next next seven so I'm gonna start so that's one and the next two three four five six seven and then two into the same one and two so the pattern would be seven and two so continue next seven and then two you're gonna end up with two half double crochet so in the last two stitches it's going to be two half double crochet in each I mean one in each so I've done two in the same you can see here and then three six and seven half double crochet into the same and to finish up this round you can see there's two more st stitch left and I'm gonna do one in each that's it round number eight into the next eight I'm gonna do one half double crochet so next eight so that's one two three four five six seven eight so eight done now into the next one I'm gonna do two And then continue again for eight and then two eight two and into the last last nine last nine I'm gonna do one in each and that's it round number ten and this is going to be the last round I'm gonna do in the next ten one in each of next ten and then two one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then two in the same one and two so repeat this pattern all the way I did two in the same and I'm left with six stitches and I'm gonna do one in each of these six to finish off this round three four five and the last one And then continue the half double crochet into each 
So I finished the round and now I'm gonna do a chain one and cut long piece of yarn. So I'm gonna leave a tail. So this much to join the side and then I'm cutting oops so your work should look like this and now it's time to join the sides it will be so I'm going to join by um, single crochet the sides and I left long tail for this side and also here I've got because I joined new yarn which I haven't shown you so that's it now I'm gonna count the stitches on the sides and then start joining so I've got 30 stitches in the side so when I do half of it, it's 15 on this side and 15 here. So this is where the flap starts and I've got the long tail over here. So I need to join from this one and this one. This is the first one and this is the 30th one. Now I'm going to take this tail into this stitch. So I'm going in taking the yarn so take the yarn through this stitch like this and the same hook I'm using so you can either go through both loops or one loop from each of the stitches so I'm going through both loops if you can see and then going into the next one and then grabbing the yarn and doing a chain first and then going into the same again and now I'm doing a single crochet and then going into the next and then going doing a single crochet so if you can see got this and then continue doing single crochet So you're going to have something like this. And I'm going to go through both loops and do single crochet all the way down. So I'm finishing off my last three stitches, one, two, and the last two you will see they are, you know, a bit, bit
so you can see the single crochet and now I'm gonna cut the yarn here chain one so I've got too much yarn here and you will be left with this little gap over here and I'm going to use this yarn over and to join this bit and that's it so you're going to do the same thing on this side as well and that would be done so if you don't like how this sing last single crochet looks you can you can only slip stitch into the last one so you go through the loops on both stitches and to finish off just slip stitch And then chain one and pull so that looks better so it's now complete so after weaving all the ends this is how it looks like so that's it Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye.